Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to St. Sebastian. Please join in singing number 607, Sing a New Song, number 607. All rise. Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Thank you and welcome, a special welcome to visitors. We gather on this, the 29th Sunday of Ordinary Time, and we do sing a new song to the Lord, a Lord who comes to us to remind us of his love for us and the mercy given to us through this Holy Eucharist. To prepare our hearts, let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy. Lord Jesus, who came to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, who calls sinners to yourself, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, who are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord was pleased to crush him in infirmity. If he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life. And the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. Because of his affliction, he shall see the light in fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many, and their guilt he shall bear. The word of the Lord. and right of the kindness of the Lord the earth is full reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
man to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. He replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered him, Grant that in your glory we may sit one at your right and the other at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? They said to him, we can. Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the 10 heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said to them, you know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, there are still seats available <laughs> here, too. But now at the Lions game this weekend, you can get a seat for $33. Or $322. Upper level, club level. We have no mezzanine here, so there's no cheap seats in this house. <laughs> 33 to $322. The price to enjoy a Lions game. In our gospel today, there's some seating questions that come up. James and John want the good seats, one on the left and one on the right of Jesus. Lord, when you come into your glory, can you make sure that we, your favorites, can sit one at your left and one at your right? <laughs> Jesus says, you have no idea what you're asking. Do you know the price of those seats? Do you know the cost of coming close to the Lord. Jesus, just before this passage, we're, in, we're coming to the end of the chapter, uh, chapter 10 in the Gospel of Mark, and just before this, Jesus says, we're going to Jerusalem now, and they're getting close to Jerusalem. And one more time, he tells them that when he gets there, he's going to be rejected by the religious leaders, he's going to be put to death, and raised up on the third day. He's just told them that we're going to Jerusalem where he's going to be rejected and be put to death. And all James and John can think about at this time is to say, hey, you know, when you get to your kingdom, make sure that there's good seats for us. We want the seats of honor, which of course would be right on the left and, 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 and one on the right. Jesus says, do you know? You don't know what you're asking. Jesus is reminding them that he's going to die. And if they want to follow him, guess what? They're going to have to take up their cross as well. That's the whole point of being a disciple of Jesus. The closer we draw ourselves to Christ, the greater the change in our own life will be. The price is great. We won't be able to live the way the world wants us to live. We won't, be able to wait. we won't be able to speak the way the world wants us to speak. We're going to be forgiving in a different way. We're going to reach out to people, not with authority to lord over them, but as slaves to each other, 
to be present to one another. This is the same Jesus who on the night before his death will kneel at his apostles' feet to wash them. He's saying, do you know what you're asking? To truly be a disciple of mine. The price is great. More expensive than an upper-level seat or a club-level seat at a football game. More costly than any other seat that we would ever want in our life. Because as close as we want to come to Jesus, we know that the closer we come, the greater the challenge will be. Once we make that decision to say, yes, Lord, I want to be at your side in your kingdom. And if we say yes to that, are we willing to make the changes that are needed to follow him into that kingdom and to celebrate the glory that he promises to all who follow him? It's a lot. And it will cost us nothing less than our very lives. So are we willing to pay? Are we willing to pay that price? No number on it. The very cost of our life to say, Lord, I will follow you no matter what. No matter what it takes to be your witness in the world. No matter what it takes to become the person that you want me to be rather than anyone else in the world. It's a great invitation. And it's not about who's at the right and who's at the left. It's about making the decision to come close to Christ. You've all got your regular seats here. The Robinsons are where they're supposed to be. The Arbanuses are where they're supposed to be. Myers are over in that back corner all the time. I know where you all sit. But no matter where you're sitting in this room, what matters is that you've come here to come close to Christ. You're going to come into a procession with your hands extended. You're going to physically walk closer to the banquet table which Christ has prepared so he can give you the very gift of his body and blood to receive the grace that we need to go out and be faithful disciples of the Lord. That's what it's about. That's the cost we must pay. And we're here because we're willing to pay it. And that's really good news because the Lord has prepared a banquet and a place for each of us at his table. Together we now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. All things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born Father before all ages, God in heaven, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and of the age, and substantial. Gathered as God's people, we now bring our prayers to the Lord. For the church, may we embrace true servant leadership and make our profession of the gospel fruitful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For missionaries, may we support them with prayer and generous hearts. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For religious and political leaders, may they uphold the dignity of human life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families suffering from division, may they seek peace through the grace and love of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elderly and the sick, especially John Mack and Mick Dola, the prisoner and those fighting depression, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased loved ones, especially Keith Fry, may they rejoice in the presence of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your daughters and sons, whom you gather once again that we might experience the invitation to receive your love and grace in this Eucharist. And so we come to you now with these prayers and those which go unspoken in our hearts, the faith and hope you'll hear and answer us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join in singing the servant song. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. Lift up them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born with a virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. <laughs> For a most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, 
Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and David our Bishop, and all who holding to the truth hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise and they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God, our Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmas, and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the day before he was to suffer, he took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice into his holy and venerable hands. And once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, 
with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with Thank you. Let us share a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please join in singing number 941, Eat This Bread, number 941.
and let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. A couple of announcements. Actually, more than a couple. The Dolph Choir is looking for parishioners who would like to sing at the uh, Christmas Eve Mass, the 10 p.m. Mass. Our rehearsals begin Wednesday, the 20th, this coming Wednesday. Please sign up in the back of church if you'd like to participate in that. The Children's Quis Christmas Choir, grades 3 through 7, will begin to practice uh, next Sunday after the 10.30 Mass. Uh, if you're interested in participating and uh, singing at the 4.30 Children's Mass, please sign up in the back of church as well. Youth Band will also be starting up uh, soon again. Please bring your instruments and a piece to play um, uh, for, uh, at the night this coming Sunday, uh, on Sunday, next Sunday, October 24th. Uh, Craig will meet with you to talk about the possibility of incorporating your instruments into the Youth Band uh, celebration, which we're getting back up together. Next weekend is World Mission Sunday. There should be an envelope in your packet. Uh, it's an important part of the church to bring forth the good news to the ends of the earth. Uh, so it's an important one of the four national collections that we take up each year. So an envelope should be in your packet for next weekend's second collection. The Box of Joy boxes are available in the back of church. Please take one home and fill it up according to the instructions that are provided and bring them back. Bishop Alkoviak will be celebrating a Mass of Christ the Healer on Monday, October 18th at 5.30 p.m. at the Cathedral of St. Andrew. This Mass is for all those who work in the healthcare settings uh, so please see the details for that in our parish bulletin or website. Our November calendar raffle tickets are still on sale. A couple of more weekends to go before uh, the ticket sales will cease and the, and the selections each day in November will begin. If you lost a loved one to death in the past year and would like to remember them in a special way, we invite you to bring a photograph of them in. Uh, put their name on the top and then your name underneath and just drop it off at the parish office or bring it to church. Next weekend during the month of November, we normally display it here in our sanctuary as a reminder that we continue to remain in communion with all those who have gone before us. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Please join in singing number 677, A Living Faith, number 677. Oh. 